provide Indonesian students the best quality education opportunities. Continuous and annual execution of NIES with a high expectation extend students' learning beyond the limitation of textbooks. For the help of our future, it is critical that we work now to establish meaningful and deep connection between young people from every background and every community and the great English program. There is no doubt that the schools are ambitious. That's why we must work with schools, private and non-profit partners, the media industry and community to leverage resources to help turn this vision into reality. Again, I would like to thank everybody who has made this event a very rewarding and inspiring gathering for our youth. Thank you very much. Allahi wa barakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Allahi wa barakatuh. Selamat pagi. Good morning to all of you. And I am so proud and being honored to be part of all of you. So first of all, let's thank God the Almighty. Alhamdulillah. Puji syukur kehadirat Allah yang Maha Kuasa. Bahwasanya kita bisa dapat bersilaturahim di ruangan yang Alhamdulillah sangat nyaman ini. Just a few minutes ago, I chat with Pak Rinaldi uh, about, uh, and then also Pak Kang, Kang Emil, about uh, this, this room, this building. Uh, we found like uh, we have air conditions flowing to our body. But actually it is not air conditions. This is natural air condition. So I think uh, it is not going to happen if Bandung is not well managed. So with that, we appreciate uh, Bapa Kamil, Kang Emil, for managing Bandung. So we have still a very cool weather in Bandung. Let's have a good hand for Pak Emil. The most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Kalau terjemahannya, pendidikan adalah senjata terampuh yang kita bisa gunakan untuk mengubah dunia. So, so education is uh, something that uh, we are all learning. We are all continue learning from time to time. Even now with my transition, I will be Langser <laughs> from the president director <laughs> and in the next uh, few, few weeks, uh, and I will become a president commissioner of this uh, company. Uh, but I think I keep learning. I am not uh, kind of like stopping. I'm not stopping learning. Every day I learn something new. And it is not something that is, uh, I think uh, it is very alive. If you are Muslim, uh, I think we have in the Hadith Rasul that uh, belajar itu mulai dari bayi sampai ke liang lahat. Selamat pagi Bandung. Good morning Jomblo. To all Jomblo in the room, raise your hand. Banyak ya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang saya hormati uh, Kepala Dinas Pendidikan Provinsi Jawa Barat dan yang mewakili Kepala Bapeda Provinsi Jawa Barat yang mewakili Pak Mustafirin Amin mewakili Direktur Jenderal Pendidikan Dasar Menengah Delicious today, nah, gak enak badan, itu tukul English Don't reach people difficult, nah, itu tukul Jangan kaya orang susah Third type of English is Cinta Laura English, nah gitu ya. Campur-campur, beceng, ada ojek, nah itu. So, we have to learn the first one. The first one is the proper English. I have a dream of Bandung become the best city in Indonesia. We have to share this dream with everybody in Bandung. 
Every time I go overseas, so many people ask me, what is the vision of Bandung? And I always say, Bandung will be the livable city and also lovable city. Visions, creative individual coming from Bandung because of the weather is very nice for people to contemplate, to create, to innovate. Bandung now has 2.6 million populations. Bandung also a very well connected society. From 2.6 million population of Bandung, we have 2.3 million Facebook users. That is why in Bandung, everybody use the smartphone to connect and update status. <laughs> I just become the city mayor only four months and a half and inherited a city with so many problems but since this is my hometown the city where I was born I educated in Bandung SD Banjarsari SMP 2 Bandung SMA 3 Bandung Wow. Then I went to ITB, graduate in architecture, and teach architecture, and take a break because now I have to dedicate my time as a mayor. Jadi Pak Ucok, I'm the president of SMA 3 alumni. Bandung is education city. We have more than 100 higher institutions from colleges, academia, and universities. Bandung is a youth city. We have 60% under 40 years old. So as you can see today, this is the young generations that are the majority in Bandung. I graduated from ITB in 95. In 96, I became the diaspora working overseas for eight years. I work in United States, Hong Kong, working as an architect, designing building new town. It is very, very important for people who wants to travel the world to master English. If you are smart, but you cannot speak English, that will be nothing. Adik-adik, ciri orang yang jago berbahasa Inggris, itu kalau mimpinya sudah dalam bahasa Inggris. Kalau mimpinya masih dalam bahasa Indonesia, berarti belum jago bahasa Inggris. Wah, remen ke dia, Ma. So to master English, we have to upgrade our education, we have to compete in the debate. If you want to be a successful person like Pa Uchok, you have to master English. Because in the global competition, English is lingua franca, the mother of language. That is why the government of Bandung creating Bandung Fun Days. Hari-hari bergembira di Bandung. Monday is a free bus day for school student. Siapa yang udah pakai bis Damri gratis ada? Hari Senin? Oh ada Pak. So Monday is a free bus day for students. Tuesday is a no smoking day in Bandung. Wednesday is a Sundanese day. Rebo Nyunda. Jadi, Pami Abdi di Ulam Nadinten Rebo, Pawali Kedah Nyarios Bahasa Sunda. Pami Tuku Urang Kusahadai, Pami Teayana Irahadai. Kedah Pancek di Nagalur, Ngajaga Lembur, Najan Awak Lebur. That is 
if you invite me on Wednesday. Every Thursday, Government Bandung preparing to launch the campaign of English Thursday. Every Thursday, we encourage people to practice English. We are preparing to set a standard that all government officials in Bandung to have a minimum 500 TOEFL standard. Saya TOEFLnya 550. Jadi buat PNS Bandung mudah-mudahan bisa sampai 500 cukup. We are also encouraging the radio station in Bandung to broadcast the program every Tuesday also in English. We are also preparing to have uh, facilities for people to learn English free. That is why I ask you who can be volunteers to teach English free to children. It is part of our Bandung competitive age. Yeah. 2015, tahun 2015, there will be ASEAN community. People from all over ASEAN can work open business in Bandung, so we have to prepare. Okay, once again, uh, this is a new era where Bandung is now owned by young people, 60% youth. We are very happy to have this event and we ask Jakarta Foundation, Chevron, not only uh, making this event an uh, annual event, but we want to talk in more detail how this English proficiency can be done and organized in more constructive and frequent. Not only once a year, maybe we'll do something.